let's uh, let's let's take two, I guess, with this. Uh, here we go. What's up, wrestling fans? AEW taking a shot at Brock Lesnar in the brand new AEW Fight Forever video game. Hopefully everybody's here. Uh, my last stream went down. My bad. I messed it up. I hit the wrong button. I zigged when I should have zagged. That's really going to mess up the algorithm, man. The, to, to double post like this really fucks up the algorithm, so... Oh boy, I'm going to be in a bad mood all night probably after that. How many people got screwed out of seeing this tonight because I fucked that up? Oh well, what are you going to do? The real ones are here. If you want to figure out how to find my show, you'll figure it out, right? People figure it out. People figure it out. They'll figure it out if they want to be here. They'll figure it out. I don't know. How's everybody doing? Rest in peace, Ryan Mallett, dude. The guy apparently drowned today, which is crazy. I still can't believe that, dude. Fucking Ryan Mallett, 35 years old. Apparently drowned. That's crazy. Um, we got okay. So this is a very strange topic tonight. AEW takes a shot at Lesnar. We got a nice uh, batch of weird news today. We got we got you know a debate over the AEW rating too. By the way, AEW rating coming out for uh, the AEW uh, Collision. It's hard to keep track of everything. AEW Fight for the Fallen. AEW Fight Forever. AEW Fighter Fest. AEW Collision, Dynamite, Fight or Flight. I mean, how many names? How many? I just can't. I, it's hard to, I'll be honest. It's hard to keep track for me. I'm not, you know, I'm a simple man. There's a lot of wrestling. It's a lot of wrestling names. It's hard to keep track of all this shit to me, man. Ryan Mallett uh, drowned. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. You wouldn't think a guy like that would do it. Um, yeah, a lot of people are confused with AEW. You really don't know what to make about AEW. You know what I mean? You don't know what to what to make of it. You know, some people online said, "Man, I'm surprised that fans are making a big deal out of Brock Lesnar, them making fun of uh, Brock Lesnar." And what if you don't know what's going on? The fact of the matter is, in the video game, there is a move uh, that is basically it's the F5. The move is the F5 that Brock Lesnar does. It's the F5. It's in the video game. But in the video game, it's called, uh, like, diverticulitis, which is the sickness, illness that Brock Lesnar could have died of and got really sick with and went to the hospital, all that stuff, and they figured it out that he had diverticulitis. So they called it diverticulitis. Now, listen, I'm not sitting here saying I'm above this type of stuff. Hell, this type of joke is in my wheelhouse. This is the type of stuff I enjoy. Do you know what I mean? Like, these are the type of jokes I would make. I have no problem myself. But what I do have a problem with is, is is just what hypocrites they are over there at AEW. I mean, apparently. I mean, they just seem to be hypocrites, bro. Listen, if you're in the elite or friends with the elite, I wish I was friends with the elite because then I could be in the company. I could be in AEW as the announcer, I think, if I was friends with the elite. I think maybe. Maybe. And certainly if I'm not friends with them or they don't like me, I would not be there, regardless of talent or whatever I could do. I mean, hell, Hulk Hogan is banned for life from AEW. Hulk Hogan banned for life from AEW because he said the N-word in private, which was weird, but it seems like most people... What the fuck is going on upstairs? What the fuck is going on? fucking dog is flipping the fuck out upstairs let me call Leah and figure out what the fuck is going on I can't do a show I think someone's dying 
What the fuck is going on up there? Why? What's going on? I thought something was wrong. What's that? What is she upset about? Oh, she's just being nuts? What the fuck is she doing? What is this? What? It's because you're recording her. She's like freaking out. Oh. Is she seeing ghosts? <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? There's like a ghost there or something. Like, look at her. Huskies do this? Why? They see ghosts? Send me this video. I gotta play this. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What is this? What the hell am I watching? Send this to me so I can play this. This is funny. That is funny. Send that to me. I thought I thought someone was torturing the dog or something. I've never Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Anyway, uh yeah. But were, were we talking about Brock Lesnar? That's fine. Oh, send it to me. Yeah, um or you can send it. You can Oh fuck. I could you could Dropbox it to me, but you probably don't have that. Oh, okay. Is it Okay, that's fine. She's barking at ghosts in your house, says Crazy Blade. Yeah, I've seen her do this before. Yeah. It's a husky, yeah. It's a husky thing. Oh, my God, bro. No, I know. I get it now, but I've never seen her do it that long. I was listening like, what the fuck is going on up there? I could hear it. I know I can hear it because she's right above me. She's right there, sitting right above my head. Like, oh my God, bro. Anyway, fight fight forever. Do you want to see this? I'm going to play this. I have to play this video because I just spent five minutes going, what the fuck? What do I, oh, and people are like, what is he? What's going on? All right. Let's go. What the fuck is this dog doing, bro? My dog is being insane. I know what it is. She's trying to get the fucking cat. Uh-oh. Out of the back of the... See, she's right above me right here. She's right above me. <laughs> what the hell? Is that? Uh oh. <laughs> the cat bobs out of nowhere. That's what she's doing. She's trying to get the cat out to play. This is what I'm hearing for like the last 20 minutes. Like that's why I'm like, what is going on? Cuz she's right above my my room is right below this. <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? She's moving the couch like 5 feet. Uh -oh. <laughs> what it was? She's moving the couch again. <laughs> you can hear me. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, dude! You can <laughs> you can hear me yelling through the floor.
I can't believe that. I really yelled loud. Like, no wonder she could hear me. Because the, usually the soundproofing does a pretty good job. You can't hear me. But I heard that. I heard me. <laughs> coming, I'm coming through the heater. I know it. When I'm yelling sometimes down here, if you're upstairs right in that room, you can hear me coming through the heater. Or you, whatever. It's really funny. It, like, it comes right through the heater. Whatever's going on. That's the funny. The fuck is going on? <laughs> oh my god, bro! Uh, I'll repost that the dog saw the ten feet aliens. Anyway, back to the AEW Fight Forever video game, and let me reiterate what I was saying earlier. So, in the video game, there's a move that you can do. It's an F five. Allegedly, apparently, this is what everybody's telling me. I still haven't played the game yet, but I, you know. Um, well, I'm getting it any day now, uh, courtesy of Sith Negan. Um, but yeah, in the video game, it's an F5. Brock Lesnar would do the F5, but the move is called diverticulitis, apparently, in the game. Now, diverticulitis is the illness that Lesnar almost died of and got really sick with. And so, you know, I mean, listen. I, again, I like jokes. I make crazy, crazier jokes than that. But f it's just funny that for like a, a company, you know, these people are all about like, oh, inclusivity and, you know, don't make fun of people's weight. And, uh, you know, we're woke as fuck and we're all virtue signaling and all this other stuff. But to me, there's always been this sort of like divide of that. For instance, CM Punk is like a left leaning liberal kind of anti like he's like a socialist communist whatever he's whatever whatever you are he's going to be the opposite of like it doesn't matter if america became socialist cm punk would become a communist if america was communist cm punk would become a capitalist cm punk will just do the opposite of a anything he don't care he just wants to be a shithead he doesn't care right I, in my opinion that's my opinion um, so CM Punk is a far left whatever, and the Young Bucks are Christians, right? Like they're probably right leaning, right winger type of people, and that's why that's really what it is. That's why CM Punk doesn't get along with these people, because the minute that you don't align with, you know, these people, they and I mean any of the people, they just seem to hate you. But like, like for instance, Hulk Hogan. Right. Hulk Hogan's probably a Republican. Right. Hulk Hogan's a Republican. He said the N word. Uh, he's banned for life <laughs> for life. He's banned for life. He said the N word. Um, Excalibur said the N word. He's the main announcer. But Excalibur is friends. With the Young Bucks and their Christian right wingers. CM Punk is a left a left liberal so they don't get along. So that's really what it is. It's not, I mean, is it any coincidence that these people just per, just happen to not get along, yet they're the complete opposites of each other, right? It's not any, it's actual hate from somebody. I don't know which ones or who, but people hate each other and it's got more to do, it's not about the wrestler or the wrestling spot. They obviously hate each other literally for each other's values. Like, it's got to be. Why else would you... Why would you hate somebody who's coming in to do business with you and to work on your stuff with you? Why? Whether it's CM Punk causing it or the elite causing it, whoever's causing it, why would you cause it unless it was actually more about your personal beliefs than anything? Because everybody and their mother before has always worked together regardless of whatever the fuck they don't care. They just want to do business or whatever. Maybe they have, maybe they let wrestling politics get in the way of things, but it seems like these guys let personal politics get in the way of things because otherwise, why would they have this problem? But again, if somebody else made a joke about... So say one of the Young Bucks. Say one of the Young Bucks uh, gets sick with something and then, and then somebody names a move that sickness, right? So someone in WWE... So let's say one of the Young Bucks, God forbid, got cancer, right? Got fucking lymphoma, right? And then somebody in the WWE was like, yo, my move's called Lymph Node Jackson. You know what I mean? Or my, 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 my move's called the Lymph Node Buck. And then they called their move the Lymph Node Buck. 
and it was like clearly about the guy having cancer in the other company. They would cry like fucking maniacs, bro. They would cry like fucking maniacs. Like, oh my God, how what a s- disgusting thing to say. Terrible people, blah, 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 blah. But if they do it, it's okay because they did it. So it's okay. You know what I mean? Like if there was like a subliminal shot at somebody. This isn't even that subliminal. It's in the game. It's like not that subliminal. Um, but it kind of is, but it's not. Then someone on Twitter was like, well, that's the move Excalibur named that back in PW Jizzle, Dizzle, Boo, Doo, Dizzle, Boo. Okay, well, either way, that's still a shot at Lesnar, and it's in the game still. And you know it's a shot at Lesnar. Do you know what I mean? They know it's a shot at Lesnar. They know it's a shot at Lesnar. So it's it's fucking crazy as shit, bro. It's bullshit, and they know what it is. They know exactly what it is. And they know what they're doing. You know what I mean? They know exactly what they're doing. And the fact of the matter is, if it was the other way around, it would be a big crybaby thing. Because we know, because Hulk Hogan is banned for life. Um, and yet no one else is. It's fake. Um, so we're just going to play pretend tonight that Kevin Owens didn't name a move in PW, didn't, didn't name the move in PWG, right? We're just going to play pretend tonight that Kevin Owens didn't name the move. I don't know who named the move, but it's in the AEW video game. It's in the AEW video game. Didn't Excalibur name the move though? I thought I was told that Excalibur named the move. Am I, am I crazy? I mean, I could be. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but I was told that Excalibur named the move. I could be wrong. Been wrong plenty of times. Let me know. But either way, it's in the video game. I don't care. I think things are funny. I don't really care or whatever. Um, you know that that it, that it's in the game. But they, yeah, they, it appears that that's in the game. But you know, if there's a move and it's the F five, and it's called diverticulitis, like you know what that is. But, dude, this is what people like this do, though. They take weird shots, and they're afraid of everything. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know who the pussy is in AEW. It's hard to figure it out. You know what I mean? And, you know, there's constant people that always say, Joe, this is why you're not in AEW. Joe, this is why you're not doing commentary for WWE or for AEW. What do you mean? Because all of these people have done crazy, said crazy things. There's no difference. The only difference is I'm still here doing it. That's the only difference. They've said crazy shit. Fucking slurs, racial slurs, homophobic slurs, N-word slurs, whatever. Everybody's still employed. Only some people get fired. If they don't like you, you get fired because you are you can be gone and they don't need you. You're expendable. But if they like you, they'll keep you. So it really just comes down to being friends with everybody. No one really has any real integrity. It's just about being friends with people. Make sure you're friends with them and then it's okay. You know what I mean? And CM Punk, who the fuck knows who's friends with him? He ain't friends with anybody. If he's friends with someone, wait five minutes, he won't be. You know what I mean with CM Punk? Wait five minutes, that fucker won't be friends with somebody. That's It all takes about two seconds for CM Punk. Even his fucking close, close, close friends, allegedly like fucking Colt Cabana, they couldn't stay friends. Do you know what I mean? After how many years? Guy don't have any... What? I mean... He's got, what's his name? Fucking, nah, 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 nah. That guy, the, the biter. What's his name? What's fucking, I don't remember the guy's name. Somebody say his name in the chat. The big, his friend, his current friend. His his older current friend was Cole Cabana. Now it's this, now it's the guy in AEW with him. Whatever his name is. The guy who fucking bites people. Who I don't blame for biting people because I would have bit some bitch too. My fucking wife's in here hurt. The dog's hurt. You're fucking coming after my buddy. In the locker room after he said, hey, come after me, and then you really did do it? Okay. It's fucking on, bro. It's fucking on. Yeah, he's friends with Dan Housen right now, Batista, FTR. Dude, he's friends with Batista? Well, Batista's a psycho liberal. So there you go. A left-wing psycho. A Steel, thank you very much. I love I love A Steel. I think A Steel's real as fuck. I like A Steel. He's a nutcase. I'd be friends with him too. Bro. You're the kind of guy that's going to come in and start biting bitches for me. I'm fucking ride or die with you forever, dude. I love A-Steel. 
I fucking love A. Steel. Dude, I would suck dick to have A. Steel become a friend of mine. I like that guy. I don't care what anybody says. That guy seems like a fucking good time, man. I don't know. Batista, he's a fucking... Batista's a bitch. He'll throw you out in two seconds, bro. Batista would turn his back on you in three seconds. He'd be like, oh, this agenda thing happened? Oh, I'm going to say that I'm disappointed in him. And, you know, I, I really won't be talking to him anymore. You know, that's what Batista would do if you fucked up with the agenda out there. Batista would drop you like a fucking sack of shit. Batista would drop you off at the nearest ho station, bro. Batista wouldn't give a shit about you. Batista is a big, fake Hollywood fuck. That's what he is. Batista, you hear me, Batista? You fucking tattooed, goddamn friggin' Fast and Furious looking piece of shit. That's what Batista is. Hey, we're 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 a few. We're only a couple hours. Of, we're only twenty minutes from my birthday. For Christ's sake, I'm a, a fuck. My birthday in twenty minutes at four a.m. I'm becoming thirty nine years old, motherfuckers. I'm gonna do a birthday stream tomorrow, though. Do a, do a nice little AEW birthday stream. I'm not doing it tonight, although technically I am turning thirty nine tonight. I can't wait till I turn sixty nine. I don't think I'm gonna be able to live with myself when I'm 69. You know, you know what? I'm, you know what's gonna happen when I'm if I, if I don't die, if I don't get cancer in the next couple of years, and if I don't die over the next couple of years, and somehow, somehow, listen, if I'm actually sitting here at the age of 69, I will be blown away. But I know what my regret's gonna be. My regret is gonna be that I didn't just go out and do it all and say fuck it. That's gonna be my regret. It's gonna be that I didn't go out and just do everything all over the place. Um, although I really couldn't, so whatever. But that will be my regret is that I didn't do more, that I played too much Diablo and I played, you know, that sort of too much stuff at home and we didn't go out and figure something out, whatever it is. It's going to be that I, but I'm not able to do too much, you know what I mean, with the way things are going. But I'm, I know it's going to be a regret because at 69, I am going to be sitting at a computer screen or a virtual reality screen or whatever we're doing when I'm 69. I guarantee you I'm going to be living in the virtual world. I'll be like, you know what? Because I'm already freaked out right now of aging because I was lucky enough, I think, I think, I'm humble, I'm not very humble on this, but a lot of people used to say to me, damn, you look younger than you are. You really look young. Holy fuck. I thought you were 28. You're 34. I thought you were 22. You're 28. I thought, you know, oh my God, you're 30. You look 25 or 23. Like, I would get that all the time. I got a young face and all this sort of thing. But I'm starting to now, like, age rapidly. Like, I can see it now. Like, it's like I look 40 now, I think, all of a sudden. I went from looking five, six, seven years younger. Now I look my age. And so I think when I'm 69, I'm really going to have trouble dealing with it. I'm going to be like, dude, what the fuck, my flabby ass and my body muppet it's looking like shit. Dude, I am going to hide in the house and I'm just going to play video games all day long on and you know my cuz by then maybe my kids are moved out or they've figured out whatever they got to do. I just if 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 I didn't own stuff and I wasn't comfortable, right? I would just sell everything to live in one room with Leah and we could just game in one room. You know, fuck it. Remember that time we had a big house and a yard and a life and everything? That was cute, wasn't it? Oh well, now we live in apartment 17D. But that's okay because we're sitting in a room together. There's a refrigerator, a kitchen, there's a shower and a tub, and a bedroom and a living room, and we're in a one-room little apartment, whatever the fuck it is, like this one little fucking bedroom apartment. It's like whatever the rent is at the, that point, you know what I mean, $2,000, $1,800, $1,600, $1, and we're just collecting fucking death, disability shit and whatever. I'll take a flight down some stairs. And we'll just live, you know, like sh like fucking sardines, you know, watching the movies we loved in the past, rem reminiscing about all the old days, and playing World of Warcraft 90 and fucking Diablo 7. I mean, it'll be crazy. And, uh, you know, VR, Star Trek, and weird stuff. And we'll be playing Zingdu Pong in our fucking VR headsets, or whatever it is. And, uh, and I'll have Viagra. You know, it'll be great. So I'm not really that worried. If I make it to 69, man, I think and that's not. It sounds sad. It sounds like it's a sad thing. It's not. It's not. There's no grass to cut. There's nowhere to go. 
everything gets delivered. I just click the phone. It comes. Mostly government assistance. You know what I mean? A couple nukes went off somewhere at one point. Whatever. We'll be all right. But what do you guys think about this anyway in the chat? What do you think about this? Do you are you do you think this was wrong of AEW to put diverticulitis in as the F5 in AEW fight forever? Or do you think it's just a silly little thing that, you know, who cares? Or do you think that it's it was a mistake? You know, or somebody didn't think about it whatever. I mean, I guess those are the three takes maybe you could say about this. I don't know. It's Tuesday night, and I know I wasn't going to stream tonight because I've been on the vacation all week, and I figured I'd just do a big one Wednesday and then a big one Friday night. You know, uh, maybe do maybe do some sort of throwback Friday night stream this Friday since I could do monetize this on a Friday if I wanted to. Or, hell, maybe we'll do monetize this Friday and fucking Saturday, and we'll do two of them. That way we get closer to 420. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I'm I have the points in the bank. I know that. I've got those. Leah lost him at the end of the night the other night to monetize this. Sucks to be her. By the way, if you want to super chat and fund the show, you guys can use the dollar sign super chat function on the chat. Say something stupid like Paul Heyman would do, and I'll uh, we'll talk about it. Or you can use the Streamlabs donation link that I pinned to the top of the chat. Also, I don't know, Tommy, uh, obviously is, it's weird that Tommy would show up uh, in the chat I think that's a fake one. Uh, actually, it says that it's him. So you know what it is? Um, well, I banned it. But I'm assuming that it's got to be someone who has his account. You know what I mean? Because the guy just always shits on me all the time. So I can't believe he would actually stop by to say that. So I'm pretty sure it, that somebody is somebody's on his account probably. So somebody's probably on Tommy's account. That's fucking weird. That's very weird. Um, Texas Chode House is in the chat tonight. What up, Texas Chode House? You want a little Ram, a little Ramstein? Listen to this, T- Chode House. Yeah, let me pump it up for you. Uh, yeah, I'll suck your dick. You ever think about how funny Ramstein is? Like the actual words. We've done it. I've done it on the show before where I've read the real lyrics. They're like terrifying. Every Ramstein song, almost every Ramstein song is like a weird song that sounds like it's about a nightmare where you're where you're gonna be killed or raped or something. I don't know. That's most of them. When you translate the words, I don't know. I get that vibe, man. Xbox Series X sounds like a working title. Yeah, exactly. That's why I I went on a rant about this when Xbox Series X announced its name, and I said, this is the dumbest fucking name ever. Can you imagine all the grandmothers, the non-Xbox fans, the parents, and everybody who was looking for something that Christmas for their kid, and they're like, oh, uh, it's Xbox X1 Series? Xbox Series S? Xbox X? SX, it's uh X um, it's X. Well, there was Xbox, then there was Xbox like three or something, uh, 360. Was that the third one, the 360? I don't know. Xbox one. It was an Xbox. Was it Xbox One? So there was Xbox One, then there was Xbox, then there was Xbox Three. That's right. Um, no, that's uh, there was an Xbox. Uh, Xbox 360 was actually the second Xbox. Oh, oh, okay. Um, well, then I mean, well, there was first. It was Xbox One, though, right? Well, uh, no, no. Technically, there was Xbox, and then there was um, Xbox One is the newer one. 
oh, the new one's called Xbox One? Why would they do that? Well, no, not actually. That was the last one that's newer. Now there's another one. Oh, okay, so wait a minute. There's only been two? No, no. So there was first there was an Xbox, and then there was a second Xbox that they called 360. That was the second one. Oh, okay, all right, I got you. I think I got you. So there's an Xbox One, then an Xbox 360. No, no, no. No, there was an X... Or the, the one, forget one. There was first an Xbox, and then there was an Xbox 360. And then they released the Xbox One. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Wait a minute, there was an Xbox, the first one, and then there was an Xbox 360, and then there was another one, there was a third Xbox, but they called that the, the one, the first one? Yes, it's very strange. It meant all in one, not the first one. There was the first one, then there was the 360, then and there was one, which was really three. Okay, so there was there was an Xbox, then there was an Xbox 360, then there was an Xbox 3 that's really an Xbox called Xbox One, but it's actually Xbox 3. Yes, it's kind of like that. Okay. Well, my son wants the Xbox X1 or something. Well, no. See, the new one is called Xbox One S or Xbox Series X. I'll kill somebody! Like, like, bro, what were they thinking at Xbox? You are retards! Xbox is run by retards. That exact thing that I just did, I basically did five years ago when they announced all this shit. Or whatever it was, three years ago now, I don't know. But I was like, bro, if I was working at Xbox, I'd be a millionaire. Because I'd be like, you know what? Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Now we're coming out with Xbox Four, essentially, right? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Guess what, everybody? Xbox Cuatro. That's coming out. The Xbox Quattro, uh, or just call it Xbox 4, or we're going to call it Xbox Snake. Whatever the fuck makes it easier than this shit! But at some point, a parent and some... At some point, an old person wanted to kill themselves in a GameStop. I know it. I know it. At some point... An old person, an old grandmother, want, either got the wrong thing or wanted to kill herself in a GameStop. I guarantee it. 100% without a doubt. No doubt about it. At let's, some point... Let's get the replay on that. Xbox One. Wait a minute, what... Wait a minute, there was an Xbox, the first one, and then there was an Xbox 360, and then there was another one, there was a third Xbox, but they called that the, the one, the first one? Yes, it's very strange. It meant all in one, not the first one. There was the first one, then there was the 360, then and there was one, which was really three. Okay, so there was there was an Xbox, then there was an Xbox 360, then there was an Xbox 3 that's really an Xbox called Xbox One, but it's actually Xbox 3. Yes, it's kind of like that. Okay. Well, my son wants the Xbox X1 or something. Well, no. See, the new one is called Xbox One S or Xbox Series X. I'll kill somebody! <laughs> like, like, bro, what were they thinking at Xbox? You are retards! Xbox is run by retards. That exact thing that I just did, I basically did five years ago when they announced all this shit. Well, that's, I mean, that's it, man. I think that really does sum it all up as far as, as, far as Xbox goes. Now, guys, I'm going to need you to go ahead and do something really dirty for me and click that like button and stick the thumb up my ass. I mean, it's my birthday coming up. You know what I mean? I'm six minutes away Almost from June 28th. Bobby Mean says, I'm trying to get a PS5 console for my birthday. You want my son's? He, ne he never plays it. You know, his, his gr you know, his grandmother went and got him one, and he never plays it. You like? Maybe I can get him to sell it. I think he literally just keeps it because he, like, he feels 
like because his grandmother gave it to him and it means a lot to him that she gave it to him but it's like I'm like, dude, I've never seen you turn that on. Like, what is... I, and that's what I said to him. Remember when he asked when he asked for it a long time ago? He was like, man, I want I want a PlayStation 5. I was like, dude, you're never going to play that. Ask for, a, ask for a PC. Ask for a computer. You're never going to play that. I get, I'm telling you. Dad was right. Dad was right. Um... But then the next year he asked for a PC and he ended up getting that. So he's got it all, I guess, you know. Lucky. A lot of people tried to get it for him, man. I had friends everywhere trying to get him um, a PlayStation, you know. And it, that was when he wanted it. He really wanted it. But then he then he all of a sudden he was like, all right, you know what? I, I You're right, I don't want it. But then three months later, Grammy gets it. And he's like, oh, my God. And he freaked out and he was happy. But then he was like, oh, yeah, I never, I don't even know. <laughs> Told you. Privilege. Uh, but no, it's like, he just, I think he would sell it if uh, it wasn't for he feels like a connection to it because his grandmother went and got it for him. And his grandmother paid like above the at the normal price for it. Do you know what I mean? Um, what Vintage, what clip are you talking about? What clip of him blowing his head off are you talking about? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but let me know, bro. I don't know. Um, Yeah, man. Uh, I guess, you know, I, I just to dial it back to the AEW fight forever, I, you know, I am kind of excited, I guess, to play it, maybe. I mean... I don't know. It seemed pretty funny the other day watching other people playing it. And it, it just... I If there's glitches and stuff, I think that's part of the fun. I like glitches. Bring on the glitches. Bring on the crazy shit. You know, I'm, I'm ready for it. I want to see glitches and fucked up shit and crazy shit and broken shit. I'm down. I'm down for it all, bro. I'm down for everything to be glitchy and crazy and broken. The, oh, I, I think that's a work vintage. I I didn't hear that, but I think that's a work. But maybe because if he, especially if he posted it, I'm pretty sure it's a work. But it, if you can show me where that is, I'll play it. Maybe, but I don't know, bro. Let me see. Um, I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't see. I don't know if I, I don't see this. Hmm. I don't see. I don't. I don't know what we're talking about. I guess. I mean, I I can't find what you're talking about. I wish Ryback would call my show and threaten to kill himself. That'd be funny. Imagine Ryback calls and he's like, "I'll kill myself." I oh, swear to God, Joe, I'll do it. Yeah, man. Um, I can't believe uh, Ryan Mallett, 35 years old, bro. And then drowning, too? Like, how does that happen? Like, at the beach? What happened? Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, was it more than drowning? I mean, was it like... What? I, it's just... I know that it's, like, none of our business or whatever, but you can't help but want to know, like, why? Like, how do you just drown at the beach? I mean, did he get swept out into the water? You know, what exactly was the circumstance you can't help but want to know because it's just so you, it just sounds so simple like oh he drowned at the beach you know that happens it's like that and it does happen but it's like oh man it feels it's like what led to that this dude's you this guy he's got to be in good shape you know what i mean 
Kevin Patrick tries to be a sponge backstage and learn from talents. Yeah, well, he's a fucking shitty sponge. Let me tell you that. He's a shitty sponge, bro. He's a real bad sponge. He's not good. <laughs> not. I like him in the backstage. I like him. I like him backstage. He should stay backstage. Is what he should do. That's what Kevin Patrick should do because he's good backstage. Kevin Patrick is a beautiful person backstage and in the pre shows and post shows and as a reporter guy like the new the new um, Rene Paquette or whatever. He's great at that. But as the lead commentator on Raw, no. No, 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 no. Fuck that. I'm not finding that E man. God damn it. No, I'm not finding that shit. Anyway, there you go. I gave you my take on uh, Fight Forever, the video game. I am going to tell you right now that tomorrow night will be a. A uh, big stream here on the show, right here. Tomorrow night, there'll be a big stream here. I will be reviewing Dynamite, but mostly I will be partying. Tomorrow night will be a Dynamite review, and I'll be having a birthday bash tonight, tomorrow night on this show right here. So if you guys want to be here to talk about AEW for a few and then to let shenanigans ensue throughout the Wednesday night, the former night we used to do monetize this back way back in the day before Friday nights, and now we're on Saturdays, but um, we'll have a good time tomorrow night. I wanted to come on here tonight for at least 30 minutes and just talk about this situation with the AW uh, video game and just bring it to light. Let everybody, I wanted to see what other people had to say about it. Is it like I it's maybe it's a non issue. To me it kinda is a non issue, but it is kind of funny, but it's also like, damn. Like I feel like if someone else insulted them, you know, that way it would be kind of crazy. NHL draft is tomorrow night. Listen, I don't even want to think about hockey at this point. I don't want to think about a lot of sports right now. You know, with what the Celtics did, what the Bruins did, what the Patriots are ugh. The Red Sox, dude, Boston sports are back to the 90s. Boston is back to the 90s when we sucked forever. I mean, mostly. Thank you, Evo General. I, You know, I think I turn, uh, I technically will turn 39 around 420 a.m. I think it might be 416. It's something like that. It's either 420 or 416. 420 would be pretty cool, but it's. I think it's like 416. My mother, my mother tells me this. I don't know, but um, you know, you know, out of the cooter of uh, out of my uh, out of the crazy cooter cum body. Hey, listen! Shout out to the chat, man. By the way, hit that like button. Where we can maybe get to a hundred likes. I mean, you know, um. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I hit everything I really wanted to get to. Um, oh, I did want to say thank you to uh, somebody uh, on Patreon. I know we've lost a lot of patrons over the last few months or whatever. Um, Patreon, I'm going to have something up on Patreon tomorrow, actually. Um, but as somebody, we got a few new producers, so I'm going to have the producer thing out tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I finished it, but then somebody else became one, so I was like, oh, I got to make another one. Um, oh, it was uh, B Knight. B Knight became a twenty-five dollar producer, so thank you to B Knight, uh, John Wood as well. Twenty-five dollar producer, and Mister Lucas, who became a five dollar uh, patron as well, on uh, Patreon dot com slash Joe Cronin Show tomorrow night. Uh, will be the AW Dynamite review and sort of a birthday sexual celebration. I think what did I call it last last year? I called it a um, selfish stream or something like that. Because when you when you celebrate your own birthday on a stream, it's pr I think it's pretty selfish, which is hilarious, and I don't mind doing it. <laughs> so it's fun. So I will uh, have a selfish stream. What up, Luke Rojas? How you doing, Luke? 
Hey man, I want to thank everybody who uh, popped over to Discord. I don't, I don't know if anybody thought like they didn't know if I was going late tonight or doing a show or, you know, whatever. But um, the Bruins, New Jersey look. The Bruins, New Jersey looks sweet. Do we have a New Jersey? Damn, I didn't know that. I I I I basically was gonna go on tonight and do a big show all night tonight. And I was going to do a big, you know, t Tuesday night rage, you know, go all night, go crazy, whatever. But a um, couple things is I was up early cleaning all day the, like, stuff. But also, you know, I didn't think a lot of people were going to be here tonight for some reason. And a lot of people are in the in the Discord. So I want to thank everybody who went to the Discord that was going to be on tonight that, that didn't, I didn't put, I didn't put anybody on. I fucked up the stream at the beginning of the stream too. I meant to start the show and I I accidentally turned the stream off, so I had to remake this stream, which kind of fucked things up. And uh yeah. That's about it, bro. I don't think um I'm not even sure if it went out on Patreon. I'm not 100% sure. But uh I want if anybody k thinks of something they want to say about the Fight Forever video game, leave it in the comments or say it whenever. Um, be glad to hear about it as we get ready to sort of play it and just mess around with it and see what exactly we have here as far as a video game. I think it looks, I think it looks funny. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a funny, I think it's going to be a funny game. Like, I, I think it's going to be one that, um, party. oh shit. Happy birthday, man. Oh shit. Back. Let's party. What up Jennifer? Let's party. Oh, the party's ending right now. <laughs> like, but we're going to party tomorrow night. Uh, Jennifer, thank you, Jennifer. Holy fuck, bro. That's the first donation. And it comes from Canada. Jennifer Muppet, baby. Thank you, Jennifer. Let's party. I We will party tomorrow night. We'll party tomorrow night. I started late tonight, too, because of that fuck up at the beginning. I wanted to be on at 9 or 10. What did we start at? 11 something? Jesus. Like, that's my bad. Had a million things going on, but, you know. But what up, Luke? Mr. Pico, you be... I don't know what the fuck you're saying. You're talking to Mr. Pico. What up, Luke, though? Um, Mr. Pico, I'm going to eat you, brother. Pico, I'm going to eat your ass, bro. I, Mr. Pico, I love you so much, I'm going to eat your ass, dude. You got that? Did you see my dog freaking out earlier, dude? This dog is losing their minds. I like how you can hear me yelling from the basement. What the fuck is going on? I've got to download this. What the fuck is... What is going on? Why is this not working? What the fuck is going on? Oh my God, it was too funny. That was killing me. It's not loading now for some reason. <laughs> Dude. This dog is crazy. <laughs> Jennifer Muppet Baby, thank you, Jennifer, for the for the seven uh -oh. Canadian. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh my god, that cracks me up, bro. Oh my god. That was funny. What the fuck is going on? The dog's nuts, bro. Can you play your audio saying what the fuck is going on up there? 
Oh, oh, I should play it. You're right. I should cut it to me on the stream yelling. I can do that in a video later. I could, like, cut it. Cat. Uh-oh. Out of the back of the... Where is it? W uh, collision. And there's a lot of wrestling. Is this when it happens? Man, I'm surprised that fans are making a move called, uh, like, diverticulitis. Where is it? This is the type of stuff I enjoy. Like, I have no Certainly, if I'm not friends with them... I gotta find it. Hulk Hogan banned for life from AEW because he said the N-word in private. Where is it? dying. I'm gonna find it eventually. Bring her. She's, like, freaking out. Oh. Is she seeing ghosts? And certainly, if I'm not from W. Hulk Hogan banned for life from A. Which was weird. When do I do it? Seems like you need to be hypocrites, bro. But what I do. Do you know what I mean? Uh, right I can't here. find it. I'm oh, shit. Allison. Right here. I'm going to leave this briefcase right Damn it. We end the stream. The donos come in. Allison Tuckwab! Right it's a birthday, run, 1999. Ladies and gentlemen, Allison Tuckwab. Allison, Allison, thank you so much. Allison, I hope you join us tomorrow night for AEW Review and my drunken birthday night stream tomorrow night. Or tonight. Tonight. Tonight will be my drunken birthday screen, uh, stream. This illness that Brock Lesnar online said, man, I'm surprised. Lightest. Now listen, I'm where, where is it? I can't figure it out. Oh, what the fuck? Allison is going right doubling up. I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. Son, run, run, you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. Yeah. Run, you fucking fat bitch. Yeah. Don't you think I'm a Run, you fat bitch. Solo cops. Never run so hot in all your damn Run, you fat bitch. Allison ain't ready for this shit to end, bro. That's right, row it. <coughs> that was weird. <coughs> I don't know what just happened, but it hurt a lot. I am getting old. It's like a bubble happened and I swallowed and the bubble like blew up in my throat. Jesus. Can you do that Ryback sound, please? Which Ryback sound? I'm going to fucking finish it. Do you want me to finish it? Do you want me to gurgle in it? You want me to gurgle it? Oh, say grundle. Gurgle, gurgle. God, oh God. Oh my God. Yeah. Is that, is that what you're talking about? Jesus. That fucking hurt, bro. Allison, thank you, Allison. Dropping donos on my birthday.
Thank you, Allison. Holy shit, bro. I was about to end the stream with zero bucks and then fucking, which is fine, but like I was just coming on here to do a quick little thing about Fight Forever. But then uh, Jennifer Muppet Baby and then Allison Tuckwab drops double 19s. Thank you, uh, Allison. Um, but no, tomorrow night I will be doing a birthday stream. I will do a birthday sexy party time stream. I don't have any work the next day. It's my birthday. I'm off. So Wednesday night after Dynamite, I'm going to get lit right here with you guys. And I'm smoking weed, too. <laughs> That's right. My buddy Wolf dropped off a whole can of the green stuff. And I'm going to get so high, I'm going to eat my own dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. But no, it's going to be crazy. So be here for that. Um, how did they mock mock him? Well, they, they called the F5 in Fight Forever. They called it diverticulitis which is the thing that uh, nearly killed Brock Lesnar. Do you know what I mean? So, tomorrow night... R wait a minute, Ryback called the FBI... <laughs> Where is this clip? Like, are you serious? Like, bro, what the fuck? Oh, my God, bro. I'm, uh, I, I, this guy's saying he's going to suck my dick uh, live on the stream. I don't know what's going on, but this guy's going to try to fuck me live on my show. I don't know what's going on. What What's the timestamp? on this stream that I have to find. I know you told me earlier, but tell me again. What is the time str the timestamp for this? And I'll play this. I'm going to play it because Allison dropped fucking 40 bucks and I was going to end the stream, but let's all right. Tomorrow night we'll party, but all right, we're going to play this. Where is this? I'm still burping from like swallowing water the wrong way or whatever the fuck. Uh 109.50. I typed it in. I couldn't. What? I fucking typed it in. I couldn't find it. Maybe I'm retarded. Tell me again, like the right, in a better, easier way. I'm retarded, remember? Um, yeah, AEW ratings the other night, they did 500,000, which is bad for, I think is bad, but made them the number five uh, cable show. Diablo 4 got a huge patch today with some new updates and stuff. Really good stuff. There, there, I mean, some pretty good stuff. It should have been better, but it was, it was still really good. Um, Patrick Stewart and Gates McFadden from Star Trek The Next Generation and Star Trek Picard Season 3, they're getting in, cons they're considered for an Emmy or something like that. It's crazy. Uh, they should be. Their scene was unbelievable in Episode 2 of Picard Season 3, dude. I, listen, that was f so fucking amazing, bro. Their acting was amazing in that show. I fucking loved it. Um... Okay. Can we find it? One hour and five minutes, maybe? I think this is a work, dude. I think this is a work, because he, like, he's titling it in his videos, dude. This isn't real. It's like a fucking work by Ryback, where he's like, I'll kill you. He, he's doing, like, he's basically, I don't know, I just think it's a, I think it's a work. I don't think any of this is real. You know? Penis for three or four months. I don't think this is real. And it, it, it that that's in the bloodline, whether it was at Sammy or whether it was at Jay first. I, I like Dick. I suck cock. I, I love him. It was uh, crazy. That's twice in six years they've been to the finals and met. Hey, Chase, you said... Yeah, there you go. Really yeah. got into the core of your belly, brother. Melissa, Melissa. Yeah. I promise you I'm going to come see you in that four bedroom, three and a half bath. Chase, one you're using an app to try to find things that you don't even know is true. Chase, Chase. I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Ryan Rees, when this fucking conversation's over and finished, he's going to say at the end of the show, I please, anybody that has recorded this man, send it to me because I'm very worried. Yeah. He's a pussy ass little bitch. How many hours did you sleep last night? I slept about seven and a half. Let me ask you something. Did you, did you that, what was your, you, Chase, you talk about being an MMA. What was your did, MMA did, record? Did, What's did your, you what, hey, Chase, Chase, what was your did, MMA? Did, shut the fuck up. What was your MMA record? Last night, I didn't see any cops when I was by your house last night. Oh, you weren't by my house last night, Chase. You, you know, you know, you know the white guy that works in the gate in the front. I'm not gonna say his name because that would show that I was there. But I want you to know 
I was on the other side of the gate. Chase, and there was no you're full of shit. I'm telling you, Chase, you're full of shit. There. And I tell you why, because I flew my drone by your house. No. You think it's neighbor, and you think it's neighbor, and it's not, and I guarantee you. See, this is a work because Ryback would never leave a guy on like this. He would never leave a guy on like this. Ryback would just hang up on this guy. And he would never talk to the guy again. He would never do anything with him again. Do you know why? Because I simply almost did nothing to Ryback. And yet he ghosted me and blocked me everywhere. And if you even say my name, you're blocked. If you call his show and you say my name, you're blocked. If you called him and did some of the stuff that I did, you'd be blocked as well. Why isn't this guy blocked? Because it's fake, bro. It's got to be. It's got to be. Um, And if he gave out his address on the stream or something like that, Ryback would delete the video. You know what I mean? He wouldn't leave it up and all these other things. So it's like, it's it's dude, it's been an ongoing work from Ryback for a long time ago or whatever. I didn't see the Super Chat, uh, Pico. I don't know why, it, but I don't see it. Pico, I don't know what happened to your Super Chat. Did you say something fucked up? Did it delete you or something? Yeah, I don't see I don't see your super chat, brother. It's weird. Ryback Stalker threatens to replicate the actions of Sonya Deville. Okay. I think this is all a work by Ryback. Guys, I gotta be honest. I would love it to be real. I would you know what, maybe I'll start trying to call him and tell him that I'm gonna fucking put my dick in his mouth or something, but I don't think so. I doubt it. Wait, J.J. Abrams' birthday is today, too? I share a birthday with J.J. Abrams? Oh, no, J.J. Abrams' birthday is yesterday. Okay. Thank God, because fucking, you know, J.J. Abrams, I used to really lo think he was going to be amazing, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I love this guy. But it turned out to be that he kind of sucks. So, kind of. It's like he doesn't suck, but it's like J.J. Abrams is one of the best, like, safe directors that can make a 7 out of 10 movie or a 6 out of 10 movie. J.J. Abrams is like the best mediocre fuck ever that's ever been done. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you want a safe movie that's not going to be that crazy, but it's entertaining enough and it's well done enough, it's going to be J.J. Abrams. But if you want a movie that's going to be really good, or Spielberg, no. Or take it to the next level, no. Uh, but if you don't want to be a woke piece of boring shit, I guess, then you go with him. and You just try to do your best. I suppose. I don't know. But it ended up being that he wasn't as crazy as we thought. I don't know. But listen, for Allison Tuckwab and everybody else here, man, thank you guys for bringing it hard on a night where I just wanted to come on for a half an hour and just fuck around with this topic about Fight Forever and what they did to Brock Lesnar's diverticulitis move in the video game. Um... And that's it, man. If, if anybody has more questions or topics they want me to talk about, please let me know uh, for tomorrow night because tomorrow night I want to be able to go all night long with AEW Dynamite review at first and then, you know, just hang out on my birthday stream tomorrow night. So I guess, right? So let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully we have a good night tomorrow night. We have fun. Hopefully AEW Dynamite's good. Have a good day. I will see you tomorrow, or I'll see you in hell. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sanctuary, Diablo. Um, all right. I think I've, I've, I've done enough. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow for my birthday. Ah!